Okay, hi again. Um, I am going to try and uh, test fit this uh, electrical panel, whatever you want to call it, uh, into the bus today. Uh, I'm going to have to cut it in half, like I said before, and um, put it in in two pieces because there's no way to get it in there. It just has enough room to turn it, twist it, and whatnot to get it in there uh, in one piece. So uh, I'll cut it in half uh, vertically here and then uh, and then put it in. So anyways, um, also the inverter, I have a... <laughs> a uh, potential hiccup with that uh, hopefully it'll all work out okay uh, the um, I bought it last fall and uh, didn't really do anything with it didn't need it yet kind of thing so I, I just bought it when I did because it was on sale and it sat in the box ever since and I went you know last weekend I pulled it out and I found out when I was just looking at it and everything that it wasn't actually a 240 volt inverter which is what I bought um, so I got a hold of the uh, Amazon seller that I, what I ordered it from, and they basically told me to pound sand because it was over 30 days. Um, and then I got a hold of the actual manufacturer of the inverter, Ames, and they said that they had, you know, I hadn't bought it directly from them, but what the problem was was... Uh, you know, it, it would have gotten back to them anyways, anyhow, so they said they would look after it. So I've shipped it off to to them, um, uh, you know, and uh, they are going to theoretically um, send me the right inverter. Um, but, it, you know, it's cost me another 200 and almost $230 for shipping. They don't, they don't uh, uh, pay for return shipping they'll you know they'll look after shipping it back up to me the new one but they don't pay for the shipping down there so you know it's just one of those things that happens it's uh as long as they look after it and they they had no problem uh you know i just sent them pictures of it and and the original invoice and said you know i hadn't bought it from them but you know directly from them but it was their inverter and they would they, they would look after it so you know as long as they do then uh and it's all good except you know that it's cost me another another you know fair amount of money for you know for the shipping but that's one of the you know the downsides or the hazards uh, of buying online you know if you buy it locally you just take it back to the store you bought it from and they look after it um, there's a lot of this stuff is a lot cheaper uh, on online but that's that's one of the downsides as you know anybody that's done <laughs> this knows you know you have a hiccup and uh and, and and it's and it turns into more of a more of a pain, but I think on the average it's it's worth worth doing it that way. Um, so uh, you know, for instance, my uh, air conditioner that I bought at the same time as the inverter, uh, it was a little over six hundred dollars uh, U.S. And um, if I'd bought that locally here, it was over a thousand dollars. And if I bought it from from Amazon, or you know, had bought it from Amazon and had it shipped to my address, it was another six hundred dollars for shipping over and over and above the you know the cost of the the air conditioner. Um, I had it shipped to the states, and it was free shipping. So you know, it, it's I think it's still it's worth it definitely if you're close enough to the border and all that kind of stuff. Um, but there are it's not perfect by any means, and there are know potential hiccups that can happen and it's just the way it is I guess uh, I think Ames uh, I've had really good luck with or uh, with Ames in the past I don't think uh, there's gonna be any problem with it uh, but we'll uh, if I encounter uh, you know more uh, complications I'll I'll let you know anyways I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this thing up and install it and we'll go from there Okay, so I got this panel temporarily in here in this bay. Just got it uh, one screw on each side just to uh, hold it in place. But it uh, fits pretty good. 
think I'm going to uh, finish the, these bays in uh, that product there I have on the on that panel uh, just put that on as a test it's kind of an off-white um, same material that I'm using for the uh, uh, for all the steel inside um, but uh, just in a off-white or a beige or whatever <coughs> and I was kind of thinking I don't know what do you think let me know in the comments here so I just coat this panel in that uh, same material or coat it or uh, skin it in stainless it'll be more blingy with stainless but it's a lot of work to, to do and maybe if I just coat the whole thing in that uh, you know it's all I'll be the same color maybe that's maybe that's good enough I don't know you guys let me know what you think and I'll uh, take that into consideration all right so I decided to just go and skin it in stainless anyways half done uh, just gonna pull the other other side out here and and do it um, yeah, I think it looks all right. I don't know if I'm gonna, what I'm going to do with the bottom there yet, uh, but I got to fix that lower rail one day. So I don't think I'm going to worry about doing anything with that yet. I'll just leave it as is, and and uh, once I fix that buggered up rail along the bottom, then I can, uh, you know, then I'll decide how to finish that lower edge. But anyways, it looks all right. On to the next one. Okay, so I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm doing here uh, for skinning these things. Uh, be quick before my adhesive sets up because I'm a dumbass and didn't think of it until uh, after I already spread this adhesive. But uh, anyways, I just took a, on three sides, <coughs> bent a 90 degree flange, three quarters of an inch, same thickness as the plywood. Uh, this edge here, is the one that goes uh, that gets bolted uh, to the edge there. So I didn't uh, I didn't, I didn't uh, bend a flange on that one. So it's because it's in behind the um, oh that uh, the uh, spring for the for the um, for the bay door. Anyways, sorry I'm having a brain fart. Anyhow, so I'm going to uh, just uh, put these two together and then uh, and then install it. Okay, so I got the other half in there. I'm just gonna leave it like that for the night and let the uh, let the adhesive set up on it. Let's see if I can get over to the other side here. Oh. So I'll start mounting the components that I have and uh, wiring up the breaker panel. I'm gonna go down in the morning and get some conduit to run the uh, power cable through. Got to run from there across this bay into the next one. So I'll just get some conduit, run that through it, and then uh, and I can start wiring it. Oh, and I put a The, uh, I don't know for sure whether that'll be the vent or the, or the, uh, drain for the sinks. But anyways, there's one there. I got more to put in. I just wanted to get one kind of located before I ran this, uh, cable so that I could make sure I could, uh, didn't put it where, you know, the two are going inter to interfere with each other. Anyways, I'm pooped. That's it for today. All right, so I got the power cable in that conduit there. I actually used black ABS pipe because the uh, the elbows are, are tighter than regular conduit. But anyway, so that's in there. I'm going to put some clamps where that I got the jack holding it there. I'll put a couple of clamps to those uh, steel cross braces there, one there and there. And then... Uh, the uh, breaker panel's all wired up. 
a little bit close here to do this very well. But anyways, there's the, the breaker panels all wired up. I just checked all the voltages and uh, everything's good. So I button that up and um, I'm going to mount a, uh, a plug over here. Uh, so I can then mount that um, uh, this uh, 120 to 12 volt uh, transformer. That's also a battery charger, so I'll have a battery on the uh, all the um, house uh, 12 volt, you know, for the fans and the toilet and running the furnace and all that stuff. While well, the ACs, they they're controlled by 12 volt as well, so all that stuff um, will run off of that plus the uh, plus a battery. So, anyways, continue on here. Okay, so I have uh, breaker panels wired up, and I have one live circuit here now. Uh, just feeding this uh, transformer, power converter. Um, so I'm going to continue on with wiring tomorrow. My back is killing me, so that's it for tonight. But I think it's pretty good uh pretty good day i got uh, you know now i got got power it's alive <laughs> anyhow is it all right so i put this uh conduit in today that's what's gonna i'm running my um uh, all the electrical through and hopefully it'll all fit through one. I got a sneaking hunch is not go going to but uh, uh, Anyways um, Hang on a second. I'll go up inside And there's the Conduit I ran there What I do is run the Run it up toward the ceiling there run all of the uh, Power wires along the ceiling so this this one runs over the air conditioner I haven't got that uh, wired yet but I got the wiring up here um, I got some uh, a 12 volt uh, uh, fuse box and all that kind of stuff so I'll run the 12 volt up into this uh, back side of this panel here later this week when it gets here um, anyways that's uh, that's it for a four day weekend um, Back's feeling a lot better today, so you know I only worked about three hours on it today because my back was so sore and I didn't want to didn't want to overdo it. It uh, but it um, seems to be a lot better today, so hopefully that continues. Anyways, that's my plan. And so I guess we'll call that it for this video. I'll post this one and hope you guys enjoy it and it. Uh, Gives you some ideas for your own uh, projects, <laughs> either good or bad, <laughs> either way. Anyways, see you next time.